sophomore from Elkhorn High School. Go first, Mark! Thank you. So this piece, just a silly story. My dad once took me to one of those sports game things. Me being forgetful, I couldn't remember which sport. I knew I had something to do with ice and sticks, but that's about it. I was pretty bummed it was waste my Saturday, but I was pretty excited to see the intense action. We arrived and it seemed a bit off since the parking lot was fairly packed. We got a parking spot fairly close, something that only happens once in a blue moon. We went inside, gave our tickets to the ticket dude, and went up to one of the three arenas. It was silent, something was off. The blue curtain covering the rink from my sight was pulled back to unveil something unlike I ever expected. A goddamn curling game. <laughs> the joy in my face drains. I couldn't possibly be in a worse place on a Saturday. I sat down, bored out of my mind, staring into blank space. There wasn't even any good food. If I wanted to see angry sweeping, I'd pour popcorn on the floor while my mom was cleaning. <laughs> I had nothing better to do, so I checked my phone and played some games. When those couldn't keep my attention anymore, I started to write my notes. One of my favorite activities. Nothing can ruin that, right? Uh, I normally have two types of writings. Funny things, like my cat and spaghetti, or serious personal issues, like most teens. I write the former. I know some man with uh, black hair, bleach blonde at the top, and a weird business casual style sits in a row above me. Uh, think sunglasses, dress shirt, blazer, and board shorts with flip, with flip flops. He sits down and stares at me every so often. I steadily get more and more uncomfortable from this because he is also way too into curling. Him being the only one standing up and cheering when I just, at a great play, when I just see a colored rock pass by a different colored rock. <laughs> he strikes up a conversation, seeing I'm clearly not into it, saying, great game, huh? I sarcastically say, yeah, I sure enjoy competitive cleaning. <laughs> he chuckles a bit. He responds, half laughing, I like your moxie kid. What you writing there? He says almost childly, I answer confidently, but sarcastically, something about my cat and pasta. Sounds like something right up our alley. Give us a call sometime. He hands me a card and walks away. I wished I was him, not for what he was like, but because he got to get out of this, get out of watching this sleep-inducing competition. Well, that was until I read the card. Buzzfeed. <laughs> well, if I didn't take this, I would hate myself. I need the money. I got hired. You want to know how? Literally write one mediocre article. Fill it with millennial words. You get what I'm saying, fam squad? <laughs> I can't even remember what it was about. I've written so many that I can't stand. The one brain cell I'd use work very hard. It's legitimately hard sacrificing your journalistic integrity to write pieces so, so, it's just dumb. I started small writings for them, doing designs occasionally on the site, and luckily I dodged writing any god-awful quizzes. I can't stand it, but that's the best life had to offer me, so what else can I choose? This is my hell, my nightmare, my career, same difference. Thank <laughs> you.